Hi everybody! Okay, so you want to know how to make these black paper bag envelope pockets. They're really fast, super cute, easy to make, fun to make, and you get two huge pockets. Really super simple, ladies. I'm going to quickly show them how to make them, and you're going to love it. Make five of these pockets, beautify the friends, and then add a whole bunch of journaling cards and tags and, you know, pictures on the inside, and you have the super cutest... Um, this is what I use to celebrate. You don't You're going to need beautified papers. Right here I'm using the Graphic 45, the um, Tim Holtz. Oh, you can't go wrong with that. The eyelets, the extra large. These can be found over at Blue Moon Scrapbooking. These are hard to find, ladies, sometimes, so when you see them, grab them. Um, I'm on the hunt right now for some black ones. You need your crocodile for, the, for this. To punch your holes, put your eyelets so you can add your rings. Glue sticks, super easy. See, it doesn't take much, or you can use your ATG gun to adhere your paper. You don't need this, but it's nice to have. Your bone folder, yay. Sharp X Acto blade. And, um, oh, and to make the pocket on the inside, some red tacky tape. This is a Okay, everybody, so here's the time where you choose the length of your envelope pocket. Do you want it to be a long um, mini that you're working on? Is it a short mini? Whatever the case, you just trim the excess off that you don't need so you can size to your project. On this album that I created, I used the black chipboard as the guide for the length of the pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. I'm not going to mark it. I'm just going to eyeball the first one and then use the this one as a template for the next one. Easy, right, ladies? Super fast. I'm telling you, you can do it. Okay, so I've cut off the excess, right? There it goes. Right here, this is where you're going to make your... Okay, and now we're going to cut the corners of our black paper bag right here. These corners right here, we're going to cut them off. And we're going to... the piece that we cut off here, we're going to use this as a template. We're going to flip it over and we're going to cut this exact same shape, size on this side so they're even, right? Okay, so here we go. Really easy. Get your scissors and just cut a nice straight cut. There we go. And here's my corner piece and I'm just going to flip it over so it's the exact same shape on the other side. No worries, ladies. Super easy. And now we have our corners cut. Can you see? Super easy. Flip it over. Look it. And there you go. Get your bone folder if you want nice sharp edges. Make sure that the, I didn't do it right there, but look it. Fix it so it's nice and straight. There we go. That's it. And then I'm going to show you how to cover with paper. See these little inside flaps right here? This is going to be the first pocket in the back. And then, oh, I'm sorry, this is the first pocket, and then here's the second pocket after these. So we're actually going to adhere paper to this, these two little flaps right here. Easy, right? Yay, ladies, we're getting there. Okay, so here's the next page. We're going to go ahead and do that one. Too. And then the page, the side that you fold on, you want this, the bottom of the paper bag, on the bottom. And then you flip this edge over. Here we go. First pocket, second pocket. Okay, we're gonna do one. Okay, so here's the paper I'm gonna use for the very first one. I'm trying to decide, do I want this on the outside, and then what do I want right here to show on the flap? And look at the back of this paper. Graphic 45 has really beautiful prints. They always do a nice, bold print on the outside, on the inside, subtle with the, another um, complementary color. So these are really great for the inside of the flap. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on the outside and this for the inside.
anyways okay so that's what we have right there it's not a pretty pattern and on the inside this is the part that you want to watch not hard at all right here these little edges I'm gonna go ahead and um, cover this first and this is how I do it that piece is gonna go right there this bottom piece I don't want to get glue on it so I'm gonna put another sheet in here to protect it from the glue Use the back of this. Glue stick. There we go. And now I'm just going to take this corner piece and slide it in. Wipe off any excess. Okay, now see the back? I'm going to put this flap down. It should be down. And I'm just going to trim it. My exacto. Again, don't worry. Just do what, ladies. The fastest pocket. And you'll whip through these. Once you do the first one, you'll figure it out and you'll go through them really quickly. Look at that. Right? So there's your first pocket. Here's your second pocket. Right there. And there's the back of that first one. Okay, now we're going to do this front flap. That one's easy too. Look at this. You get your guard, your, your sheet that you're using for the excess glue. So you to protect, to protect this page, you're going to put some scrap paper down, glue up this edge, there we go again I'm using a corner on the sheet and because this is going to flip this way, do you see what I'm doing? Make sure you have your paper showing on the right side that you want. This is all glued up so you just flip this over there we go. That's it, ladies. Again, and then you just turn it around, trim it. Yeah. And right here, your bone folder. You're going to need it because this has paper on it now and you need to bend it. I just do a little crease and then I fold it. There you go. There's your first pocket. Do the second pocket or the last pocket really quickly. Again, you get the bottom or another scratch, or you get your scratch piece of paper, you put your glue. Um, for the inside, this next pocket, I like to do a different um, pattern. But you know, I'm just going to go ahead and use this because it's pretty. Or maybe not. Shoot. I'm going to take the opportunity and use another super cute paper. I'm going to use this blue. I'm using the corner and I'm just pushing down. There we go. Am I in frame, ladies? I'm sorry if I'm not. Okay, so there we go. We got that and then the back. Super cuteness or what, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's ink the edges really quickly and then we're done. And done, right? Fun to do fast projects. Okay. So there we go, ladies. There's our first pocket. We're gonna go ahead and um, I like to add a little brad right here, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. Ribbon fibers will go through here. What are you going to hang off of here? Fun, exciting, right? I know. Is that super? Okay, I love this image right here. This right here, I want to capture that on one of the pockets. I'm going to try and do that. 
she's beautiful so she's going to be right here so I want that right there I'm just going to mark it see these beautiful gorgeous papers by graphic 45 they're hard to cut <laughs> they are I know ladies but just do it just cut it and then uh, everything will work out beautifully you'll love it I'm not sure if that's the correct size that's okay but look at isn't that beautiful I like that better right there that's beautiful I love it okay so that's what I'm gonna do isn't she gorgeous oh my goodness that's beautiful what a beautiful image that is okay so now I'm gonna decide what pattern paper right here I'm gonna put on the inside flap and this is the back from this one but when I put it next to that I, I, I think it's too dark I want something a little bit I mean that's beautiful but I think I want something that'll really pop so I'm gonna look through the paper So here we have two pockets done, and let me go ahead and tack this down really quickly. And I think that this will be my cover. I think it's super beautiful, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the back side. And this flap right here, I'm going to use it as a pocket right here. And I'm just gonna cover this, I'm gonna make this really simple. The binding, I do that last. I cover all the pages, and I make sure that I don't put anything that I really, um, you know, if I, pop up with pop up dots. I try and avoid these areas along the edges here or any beautiful you know images like this. I try and keep them over to the other side so the binding um, away from the binding. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the pocket right here. So we need to put some tacky tape right here, just on these edges right here. And you can get the red tacky tape at Michael's. This is the thicker uh, red tacky tape. I used the thin for this one right here, and I ran out, so I'm just using my um, backup, which is right here. So I'm going to do that really quick. Easy, right, ladies? I'm serious, you can do this little mini in, gosh, a weekend. Yay! Okay, so that's how you do it. That's the last pocket. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this little mini off and then I'll show it to you after it's done But really super simple. Did you see it ladies? It's coming together and when you do yours, you're going to love it Try it. You can do it really super simple and you're gonna get one two pockets So one Two right easy easy super cute. Alrighty everybody, I hope you're having a happy scrappy time out there. Um, if you have any questions about this, go ahead and email me and I'll do my best to answer them. Alrighty everybody, take care.